My name's Adam Hills. Welcome to Spicks and Specs, the music quiz show whose mum is waiting out the front of the concert. Our two team captains each and every week are the slightly sexy Alan Bro and the seriously spunky Miff Warhurst. <laughs> Alan's first guest tonight is an Australian singer-songwriter whose most recent album has been described as a musical masterpiece and a thing of breathtaking, honest beauty. Please welcome <laughs> to the show, Lisa Miller. Alan's second team member is the keyboard player for Mental As Anything, but was once in a band that won an Italian version of Australian Idol. Oh, yes, the Italians call him Golosso Spinelli, but we know him as Greedy Smith. <laughs> Miff's first guest tonight is a musician and radio announcer who has jammed with Stevie Wonder, beatboxed with De La Soul, picked a fight with Henry Rollins and hosted the ABC music show Recovery. Give it up for Dylan Lewis. <laughs> Miss final guest is a comedian who claims her greatest musical achievement was when she spent the night with an esteemed Australian drummer. And just in case you're wondering, it wasn't Daryl Summers. She's just released a book called The Lucy Family Alphabet. Please welcome Judith Lucy. <laughs> In my dreams, it was Daryl Summers. <laughs> <laughs> um, we mentioned before, Greedy, uh, in that introduction, you were... Wh what was the TV show you involved well, in? Well, it wasn't, it wasn't uh, Australian Idol or even Italian Idol, but it was years and years and years ago. Uh, they had a, a show uh, where you, the, the people would just mime their songs, so it was pretty easy. And there was no... Ju the, the only judges were the people at home. And we were on, we, they were divided up into teams, and our team, the Delfinos, uh, won. It was in the Bari Opera House, where, which was uh, blown up two years later by the, by the <laughs> Mafia. Well, I believed it by the Mafia because they wanted to get the job of, uh, of uh, rebuilding it, so they destroyed it. <laughs> and oh, hang on, hang on. Sorry, we've just had an order from a judge. This episode can't go to where in Victoria. <laughs> putting tenders out for a new ABC <laughs> studio, so... <laughs> All right, uh, our first round tonight is Know Your Product. Uh, your choices are Aussie Balladeers, mm. <laughs> oh yes, uh, Boogie Woogie, Renaissance and Get Funky. Oh, Alan can pick the first topic tonight. Oh, we're having Australian Balladeers, thank you very much. <laughs> How could you not? Myth? Um, get Funky. Get Funky, all because right. Because of me? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I am fun. Yeah. Um, I'm a little Barry Wise. I'm a little Barry Manilow. And <laughs> in the right light, I'm a little Barry Jones. So... <laughs> Let's go and let's get funky. <laughs> we'll start with Australian balladeers. Uh, everyone on your buzzers. Let's play Speaks and Specs. Your first question for one point. Uh, which iconic Australian ballad opens with the lines, Friday night, it was late, I was walking you home? <laughs> yes? Um, reminiscing. It's Reminiscing from Little River Band. Excellent. One point to Miff to start the show. We're going to cream them. <laughs> <laughs> it's an early call, but I like it. <laughs> You're the Julia Gillard of this time, aren't you? <laughs> I'm figuring this could be the only time we're in the lead. Yeah. So, <laughs> let's go. Next question for two points. <laughs> Vanessa Amorosi's Shine won an APRA award. Is crap? <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the question was going to be, just to this side, because you started, name two of the song's writers. Mark Holden. Mark Holden was one. Vanessa... No, that's the girl who sang it. No, Vanessa Amorosi. Yes, it's Vanessa oh, Amorosi. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I feel ashamed that we have so little faith in her. No, no. Oh. The other person was Robert Pardé as well, who also contributed to the song. Of course. Oh. Finally, for three points, Paul Kelly is one of our greatest balladeers. In his song, Dumb Things, name three of the dumb things he claims to have done. <laughs> yes. I pawned my watch? No, not quite. I'll give you two more guesses, though, with the other two things. Yeah. Pawned my guitar? That would seem logical, wouldn't yeah. it? Pawned his wife. His second wife. <laughs> <laughs> um, I might have to throw it to the other team. No, I've got nothing. No. Okay, over this side. Lost my shirt. Oh, yes, there's oh, one. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost my shirt. I've pawned my <laughs> ring. There it is. That's oh. two. Okay. okay. I need one more, though. And all the dumb things. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! 
She makes a valid point. Covers everything. All right. Yep, I'm going to give you that. That's an excellent point, Miff. All of the dumb things covers the dumb things that you did. I would have also accepted. I heard the train coming. Stayed out on the track. Uh, melted wax to fix his wings. Icarus reference. Yes. I thought I just had to sing. There are a whole bunch there. Either way, three points to Miff, Dylan, and. <laughs> First question for one point. In 1995, which Australian band released the single Up To Our Necks in it? Oh, yes! A new one! <laughs> you haven't answered it yet. Oh, the skunk hour. <laughs> no! Oh. <laughs> no, actually, you're right. I just oh. wanted to say no. <laughs> wow. Are you a little louder? Can I just say, that was officially a roller coaster of emotion. <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> For two points, have a look at the hit Word Up. I need two things. The name of the band and the... Uh, mm. The name of the band is Cameo. Yes. I worked with a guy who played the drums on it. Oh, right. So what year did it come out? Um, I'll say 85. The rest of the question was name the year in which it was a top ten hit. Anyone on this side? It came out in 86 and it was a top 10 hit in 87. Oh, right. Three points on the line for your final question. The godfather of soul, James Brown, was also at the birth of funk. Have a listen to these three classics from his heyday. Name each of them. Oh. Yes. Oh, the first one's puppet has got a brand new bag. Yes, it is. Second one is... Not Funky Drummer, is it? Yes, it is Funky oh, okay. Drummer. Oh, Funky Drummer. Okay, funky cool. Drummer. And the third one? What would it be? Sex Machine. Sex Machine. Yeah. No, it wasn't. So I am going to throw this over to this side. Did you know what the last um, one was? Was it Get Up Off That Thing? It was Get Up Off of That oh. Thing. Well oh, spotted, Miff. Two to Alan, one to Miff. Uh, Dylan, now we should point out that this, this is kind of, we're kind of in your home here. This is where you filmed Recovery. Yes. For so many years for the yes. ABC. Yeah. So you've done what we've done. You've got to work with, you know, people that you love in the music industry. Mm -hmm. Favourites? Um, Stevie Wonder. And did you, you played with him as well, now. or you jammed with him, did you? I got you? half an hour with Steve Lind Morris, as he's known by his, to, to his mum. That was probably my favourite. I pretty much retired after that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jude, in your days in radio, you must have had a similar experience. A couple that spring to mind. Um, a favourite, and strangely it had nothing to do with what he actually said, but a favourite was Lenny Kravitz. Now, I was not much of a Lenny Kravitz fan before he walked into the studio. When he walked out, I thought, I've spontaneously ovulated. <laughs> um, in fact, I'm pregnant and I just touched his coat. <laughs> but one of the weirder ones, although the interview itself was great, like the guy, gags, um, you know, fantastic anecdotes, Lionel Richie has the weirdest head I've ever seen. <laughs> he looks like he has dipped it in chalk and sulfuric acid. <laughs> So, very strange. <laughs> now, Lisa, you actually toured with one of your idols, Neil Young. I played a couple of shows around Australia, mm. the Greendale tour. And so we did oh, the Music Bowl and Festival Hall in Brisbane and, and I, a hall in Sydney. And, Do you get... Because yeah. I've, I've done a, I've done a stand-up comedy show when Billy Connolly is in the audience. Yeah. And I actually point... I was pointing at someone in the crowd and I went, now... And I noticed my hand going like this. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get... Well, no. Um, I think if it gets... If it gets so great, like if it's someone that you are just so in awe of, um, you suddenly become super calm. Like, because there's, there's Neil in his dressing room in kind of um, a white tracksuit and white running shoes, and so you feel pretty <laughs> relaxed. Or was he waiting for Haley's Comet? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh... I also read somewhere that you had a shocking interview, though, Dylan. No. With... <laughs> No, I read, I read that you interviewed one of your heroes, Dylan, but it didn't uh, quite yes. go as... I did not feel calm during my idol moment where I met Mike Patton, who is a singer for Faith No More, and what happened in the uh, interview was that I thought I was going to get on really well with him because he experiments with his voice a lot, and I really respected that uh, about this man because I respect people who experiment with their voice. I experiment with my voice too. I, I thought he would know what Tibetan monk singing, throat singing is. You can do that. Can I you? can do that. You, what? Do you remember, we actually went to uni together. I remember you did We learned from the same person. in 1991, and you Jesus. rocked that out in class. I can't believe I... you remember. 
remember. I know, because you don't remember me, and I know that. <laughs> well, Miff, maybe if you'd done more throat singing. Yes. <laughs> um, can you show us some of your throat singing? I'd love to show you some of my throat singing. Here it goes. <clears throat> oh, yeah. <coughs> that wasn't it. That was the warm-up. <laughs> Singing. <laughs> I don't know what that, that is, was. The internet, that is was Tibetan monks watching the show going, I've been watching for four yeah. years. Finally. Finally. <laughs> so I sang that at Mike Patton and he was not impressed. He said, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're talking about. I think maybe if you'd done something more Australian. Really? Yeah, Wobble maybe board. like um, a koala imitation. <laughs> <laughs> See? The same. <laughs> <laughs> The scores are Alan, Lisa, Greedy on five points, Miff, Dylan, Judith in front, but just six points. Yes! Yes! Two members of each team have to describe an artist to their teammate using one word each. Mm. The answers will be shown to the audience, and you may not use any of the words that are actually in the answer. Uh, Dylan, mm. you'll be guessing first for Miff and Judith. <laughs> uh, if you'd like to put on these spec specs so that you can't see the answer, please. Oh, good. Uh, Miff and Jude, one word each right. to describe the following artists. Go for it. Madonna. Um, oh, Christian Idol. Dean Geyer. Oh. Uh, no, it was Guy Sebastian. Don't only get one go. Yeah. <laughs> Next one. Country. Um, piercing. Oh, that's country piercing. Country piercing? <laughs> Patsy Klein. <laughs> no. Uh, Casey Chambers. Oh. Oh, the other one. Yeah. <laughs> Next one. I'm doing badly, aren't I? I'm doing badly. Folk. Um, <laughs> carnival. Oh. <laughs> Folk and Carnival. Why Clef Jean? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was The Seekers. Uh, <laughs> Next one. Uh, singer. Silver chair. <laughs> Daniel John. <Thank> <laughs> yes, it is! <laughs> Yes. Uh, marijuana? Yeah. <laughs> siblings. Marijuana siblings. Marijuana siblings. siblings. <laughs> the Doobie Brothers! Yeah. Yeah. Two points for Dylan Lewis. <laughs> uh, Lisa, you'll be guessing for Alan and Greedy. If you would like to put on these spec specs, please. Okay. Uh, your artists are about to come up on the screen. One word each. Go for it. Man. Money. Man, money. Um, man, money. Um, you can pass. A, a cent? Uh, no, it's not 50 cent. It was Johnny Cash. Oh, Next I one. I should know that. I'm supposed to be country. <laughs> um, okay. Oh God. Um, um, female. Um, Is she awful? So. <laughs> female female soap. soap. Oh God. Oh God. Um. I can't even know. Is it, is it someone off Neighbours? It's not Natalie and Bruglia. No, no, it was Delta Goodrum. Oh, it was close, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, Next yeah. one. Land. Under. Land under. Um, men at work? Yay! Oh. Now we got there. <laughs> um, oh. People? People? <laughs> Superfly. Oh, Curtis Mayfield. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Superfly technically is one word. Um... Cheating? Hart. Oh, Hank Williams. Yes, there you are. Now, before we move on, I read something about you during the week, Greedy, that you, you wish that of all the people that could have covered any of your songs, the Mental as Anything songs, William Shatner. Which yeah. is William Shatner yeah. from Star Trek, who played yeah. Captain Kirk. Well, if you think about the, the, William Shatner's, you know, the, uh, cover of Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man mm. and all of that, he, he gives... Whatever he sings, he, he, he makes it sound both incredibly important and also an, an, an incredibly um, overblown. If you, it's like uh, oh, Peter Sellers, you know, the, anybody, if you say something the right way, it can mean absolutely anything. 
Oh, look, I'd love to hear William Shatner doing Mental As Anything songs. What song, the words. what song would you get him to do of yours? Oh, oh please make a nips are getting bigger. Yes, I think it started out just drinking beer. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know how or why or what I was doing here. <laughs> just a couple more made me feel a little better. <laughs> Believe me when I tell you, it's nothing to do with the letter. Oh, oh, the nips are getting bigger. Nip, Dill and Judith on eight points. Oh. Alan, Lisa, Greedy also eight points. Oh. 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 Right, this round is called Video Mania. Each team is about to see short snippets of video clips. You have to identify as many of the songs as you can. Uh, Miff, Dylan and Judith, yes. you're up first. Yes. Keep your eyes on the screen. Here are your clips. <laughs> OK, what were those clips? Prince When Doves Cry. Uh, what were Abba singing? Abba, uh, Give Me A Man After Midnight. Oh, yes, oh. OK. Um, was it My Baby Just Cares For Me? Mm -hmm. yeah. Ding um, Dong, The Witch Is Dead. Mm -hmm. The Bye. last one was... Oh, oh, oh. Now, 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 that was the only one I have no idea about. I always wanted to do this singing with Mick bit. <laughs> <laughs> and then Mick gets the answer, go, come on. Um, um, <laughs> it's, um, I don't remember. Oh, let's have a look oh, back, because well I think you may have got all five then. It was Gimme, Gimme, Gimme by Abba. That's close enough. My Baby Just Cares For Me, Nina Simone. When Doves Cry, Prince. Ding Dong, The Witch Is Dead, The Wizard of Oz. And I Don't Remember, Powderfinger, five points out of five for me. Oh, Lisa and Greedy, yes. here are your snippets. A fight for love and glory. The, the second one was from Casablanca. Yes. Um, as time goes from, by. As time goes by. Uh huh. Um, Space Oddity. Yep. yep. Um, the last one was Fight for Your Right to Party by the Beastie Boys. Yep. The other one was Madonna. It wasn't Holiday, was it? No, no, it was too racy. Um, There's two songs missing from those clips so far. I think it might be getting to the groove. Getting to the groove? Can we say that again? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I've got nothing for the other two. OK, yeah. I'll open it up this side. Well, Barbara Streisand, yeah, but Barbara I don't Streisand. know which one. It was Burning Up, wasn't it? Ooh, no, all right, let's have a look back. Burning Up. It was somewhere, Barbara Streisand, as time goes by from Casablanca. Space Oddity, David Bowie. It was Burning Up by Madonna. And you've got to fight for your right to party by the Beastie Boys. That was three points to Alan, one point to Miff. Oh, wow. At the end of that round, the scores are Alan, Lisa, Greedy on 11 points, Miff, Dylan, Judith in front, 14 points. Oh. One member of each team will be singing well-known songs using the words of an unrelated piece of text. Your teammates have to identify the songs. Lisa, mm -hmm. you'll be singing for Alan and Greedy. And you'll be taking your lyrics from Absalom's Guide to Safe Outback Travel. Yes. Uh, those are your songs. Don't show your teammates. Ladies and gentlemen, Lisa Miller. Thank you. <laughs> if there is anything I could hate more than a mud bog, I have yet to find it. Yes. Nights in White Satin? It's Nights in White Satin, White Satin by the Moody Blues. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, next song, please, Lisa. If you don't have a compass, you can find your direction very easily by using stars of navigational aids. The following point is applied to the sky and what I consider this the summertime. Benny and the Jets oh, by yeah. John Hill. It is indeed. Hard one. Hard one. Look. Should nobody see your message? You can still rely on being found if you stay put after reaching the water point yes let's stay together it is let's stay together by Al Green three points out of three ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Dylan, you'll be singing for Miff and Jude. Yes. And you'll be taking your lyrics from Sex Lives of the Great Composers. <laughs> Good. Ladies and gentlemen, Dylan Thank Lewis. Certainly attractive. Oh. She had a delicate figure, beautiful eyes, lovely hair, and a charming mouth. Oh. She had a long association with Evaldi, and one musicologist even says they were married. It was Kate Bush. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next song, please, Dylan. All right. The frequency of intercourse <laughs> vary from once every two days to once every five. There'd be a gap after she had given birth. <laughs> but the F would reappear with the remarks slept with Clara. For the first time, the diaries record his continued drunkenness and his steady decline. But there are no periods of sexual abstinence. <laughs> Whatever his conditions, the oh. F's kept on. Coming and coming, coming, coming. German, Stevie Wonder. It's not quite the name of the uh, song. Um, what's it called? Master Blast. Yay! Yay. Thank you, Jude. <laughs> <laughs> Final song, Dylan. Madame was Zeltexia, was known as Lily or Lilo. At first, Gabby thought that Lily was just another of his peccadillos. But soon she was his constant companion in the Barzan, cafes of Montmartre, and became friends with the writers and painters. Dear Bussy left Gabby after dedicating one last composition to her. Dear Bussy. <laughs> Dear Bussy threatened to kill himself unless Lily married him. Dear Bussy. <laughs> and that was It's Tricky by Run DMC. Three points out of three. Thank you very much. The scores are Alan Leeson Greedy on 14 points. Miff Dylan Judas still in front, 17 points. <laughs> It's time for the final countdown. Oh, it is. Teams, oh, hands on your buzzers. No. One point for a correct answer, one point off for a wrong answer. Your questions start now. Who was Bob Marley's backing band? Wales. The Wailers. The Wailers, indeed. Name the Melbourne-born bass player for the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yes. Flea. 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 Uh, I would have also accepted Michael Belzari. Yes. Have a listen to this. Name the song. Yes. When Will I Be Famous? The Bob Ross. Oh. Excellent. Oh. <laughs> Did that for one point? <laughs> I wasn't thinking. I should have pretended. I should have pretended. How do you live with yourself? <laughs> In one of her many songs about domestic heartache, which country lady sang I Don't Want to Play House? Tammy, Tammy Wynette. Wynette. Tammy Wynette, indeed. Which famous drag performer had a hit with You Think You're a Man? <laughs> yes? Do you think you're a man, but you're only divine. divine? Divine. It was divine. What was the posthumous follow up to Jeff Buckley's debut album? Uh, uh, it was either live at Cine or um, no, sorry. Sketches for My Sweetheart. Sketches for My Sweetheart, The Drunk, I'm sorry, was the answer I was looking for. Oh, harsh. Oh, oh. you can't say either. There's no either. Mm. You've got to give an answer. Oh, mm. <laughs> yeah, look at me getting all tough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. And slightly Jerry Seinfeld at the same time. <laughs> There's no either. You can't give an either. <laughs> <laughs> Your final questions. Who sang the following songs? Let's all dance to Joy Division. The Wombats. Yes. Feel Good Inc. <laughs> Gorillas. Don't Fall in Love. Um, don't Fall in Love with the, the Ferrets. The, the, fer the oh! Ferrets, thank you. <laughs> and finally, who sang from? Hey Hey, We're the Monkeys? Oh. <laughs> No, I know it. It was We're not the here. gorillas. We've done the gorillas, yeah. haven't we? Yeah. Oh. Monkeys. Monkeys, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> the end 
the show, the final scores were... Alan, Lisa, Greedy ended up with 19 points. Miff, Dylan, <laughs> Judith won by a point. Oh! 25. All our guests for tonight, Lisa Miller, Greedy Smith, Dylan Lewis <laughs> and Judith Lucy. And of course, our two team captains, Alan Brown and Miff Warhurst. Yeah. We leave you tonight with a video clip we saw a little of earlier in the show that in many ways outlines everything that was right and wrong with 80s music. This is Cameo with the 1987 hit Word Up, and it combines dancing policemen, great moustaches and a red leather codpiece. <laughs> Thanks for watching Spicks and Specs. My name's Adam Hills. Good night, Australia. <laughs>